Oh boy. <laughs> Pro. Jumping right in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, I, no. I, I, I've done this before. I'm, I'm good. Is it A holding a liar? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But that is such a nice scenery to play. Oh, I know. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pro difficulty, it looks hard. But as you can see, uh, before, travelers will need to press the rhythm points when the ring shrinks down to around each point. And then they can score bonus points for timing consecutive rhythm points correctly. Oh, gotcha, that's cool. Look at the long note. It's a new mechanic for this event. You should press and hold down the note until the light strip disappears to score. Does not look easy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, challenge accepted, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can, I can do it. <laughs> yes, can you can. Zach? Yes, you can, Zach. <laughs> I, I believe in you. We'll have I to in you. <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> oh, hey, the sound of the lyre is actually kind of different from the sound of our zither. This is so peaceful sounding. And then it is like all these successive notes all in a row. <laughs> yeah, imagine trying to hit all of those at the same time. I know. <laughs> I'm imagining myself playing right now. I know, right? I'm so excited to give it a try. It's a pretty good score. <laughs> well, that's all we've got for the Tune to the World Sounds event. I hope all you travelers will enjoy playing music alongside your favorite characters. Next, we have another event called Dreams of Bloom. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. The event is initiated by an Inazuman florist named Sakuya. During the event, travelers can submit the materials Sakuya requests daily to obtain some special seeds from her. We can then plant these seeds in a Path of Value luxuriant glebe in the Serena teapot. After waiting for some time, the seeds will then grow into beautiful flowers called dream blooms, which is an amazing name, by the way. <laughs> I know, right? And you know, it looks like we'll have multiple kinds of dream blooms. <laughs> That's right. Sakuya will prepare three different kinds of dream bloom seeds for us during the event. Star hibiscus seed, parabell seed, and silk pod seed. What's special here is that even the same type of seed can grow into different colors. Yo, it's sort of like a mystery prize. <laughs> I yeah. know, right? Also, travelers will be able to send their flowers to each other. Isn't that exciting? Oh, that's so sweet. So we can send the flowers we already collected to our friends who might need them. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. In addition, the grown flowers can also be used as furnishings to decorate our realms. Once travelers have completed certain challenges, we can obtain Sakuya's special gardening package and choose one of the three flower stands that we prefer. We can also customize flower arrangements in our stands and make them into unique furnishings for ourselves. Hmm, it looks like we'll be seeing some customized flower stands appearing in our teapots. You bet! But please note that after the event ends, the flower seeds from this event will also disappear. So be sure to participate in the event before they're gone. I will! <laughs> <laughs> and besides all these events, we will also be seeing another return of the Leyline Overflow event. Yes! During the event, we will have three chances daily to collect double rewards from overflowing Blossoms of Wealth or Blossoms of Revelation. This event always makes things so much easier for leveling up your characters, right? <laughs> yeah, especially when you have a lot of characters to work on. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's about all we have for the events in version 2.2. Now let's move on to some great updates coming to the Serena Teapot. Yay! In version 2.2, the new realm style, Silken Courtyard, as well as a series of brand new Serena Teapot furnishings will become available for travelers to enjoy. All right, it's time for some Inazuma vibes in our teapots. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that sunset. This is just gorgeous. Everything is so beautiful. I, this it's feels so, so peaceful too. I yeah. Know. I just feel like like watching it is so peaceful. It's awesome. Oh, it's so cool, but how do we get this realm style? Okay, well, once travelers have upgraded their sacred Sakura's favor to level 40, they can claim the rewards to unlock the silken courtyard style. Wow, level 40? <laughs> 
I know, right? The good news is that even while your Sacred Sakura hasn't reached level 40, you can still gain a variety of new Inazuma-styled furnishing blueprints and furnishing set blueprints in the coming version. And on that note, we'll also have a new way of collecting blueprints in version 2.2. Inside the new Surumi Island area lies a brand new type of treasure chest called Remarkable Chests. Travelers will be able to obtain blueprints by finding and opening these chests. Remarkable! <laughs> <laughs> we can also obtain some all-new furnishing blueprints by purchasing them from Tubby the Teapot Spirit, or by receiving them as rewards from certain world quests. In version 2.2, a new furnishing type will be added to the Serena Teapot system called a floating platform. Basically, it's like a type of rock that floats in the air. Oh, uh, sort of like Plastripe from the Lantern, right? Yeah, but with these floating platforms, we can actually set a certain height for them to float at. And just like any other landform, we can place furnishings on it. And with that, we can start creating our own Adepti abodes inside our realms. Yes. In addition, there will also be some optimizations to the Serena Teapot system. Starting from version 2.2, we can learn blueprints from several new places, like through the Create Furnishing menu inside the Serena Teapot, through the Forge, and through the Crafting Bench.